Today, I want to talk to you about resilience and creativity and being nimble and um, adapting and being lean. At the moment, the creative industries are taking the full brunt of the various lockdowns imposed in European countries and also in the US. Um, in particular, France has um, put back into lockdown the Paris region as well as the French Riviera and it is thinking of putting into lockdown some other uh, uh, regions, French re regions as well, because apparently I understand there may be a, an eruption of new COVID-19 cases. And um, and um, in the UK, uh, there's been a lockdown since January 2021, so people are definitely, you know, losing the will to live. <laughs> Apparently, we the lockdown in the UK should um, be lifted on the 12th of April 2021, but I actually doubt that um, this is going to pan out the way the, um, the government wants. And um, I um, do think that um, in view of the terrible um, inability of the NHS um, and other public hospitals to cope uh, in, in an appropriate way with COVID-19 cases in the UK, they are probably uh, probably going to be some other lockdowns in the future. So um, how as a creative, you know, do you stay resilient? Do you stay creative? Do you uh, stay positive? Well, it is difficult. It is difficult because we're not seeing the light at the end of a tunnel and um, and as I said, there's much uncertainty as to when we are going to get our civil liberties back, you know, in terms of being able to move around, to travel, to, uh, you know, put your kids, your kids into schools when you when they need to go to schools, um, et cetera, et cetera. I think that you really, really have to draw some resilient skills and um patient skills and creativity skills from inwards, from your, you know, your own inward self. And um, I particularly, I, I in particular, uh, practice a lot of yoga and, um, um, you know, meditation at the moment um, to basically draw on my very limited resources of patience um, and also to find, you know, the, resi the adequate resilience to, um, to, to, to stand this situation. And um, I really, really try to do as much as I can online uh, by improving our uh, law firm's uh, English and French websites, crefovi.com and crefovi.fr. And um, I think that the same uh, strategy should be adopted by uh, creatives, you know, who are the people, uh, the creative entrepreneurs and creative companies who are basically the people and businesses that we advise at our law firm, Crefovi. So try to have a, you know, a, a practice like a, a meditation or a yoga practice that basically allows you to stay calm and carry on and uh, be resilient and also, um, and also basically be patient in view of the situation. And on the business side, well, um, do as much as you can online, um, get rid of the, you know, premises that you have not been able to go to for the best um, part of, you know, four or five months and so terminate your leases, uh, possibly at no cost, and um, and bank on, on your online businesses, you know, on, on your online um, uh, revenue uh, income generating channels. So be it, you know, Instagram and um over social media sites which are becoming increasingly commercial where you can actually buy some uh, put some links so that your 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 uh, products are can be tagged and then um any potential customer can be redirected to your uh, e-commerce website to actually buy the product he or she has seen on Instagram and um uh, perhaps also open a channel on TikTok you know if this is an appropriate channel for uh, creative products and services, do as much online marketing and digital marketing as you can uh, with 
perhaps short videos or, you know, um, photo shoots that you can then post on various social media sites. Um, and so basically, yeah, develop to the max, to the tilt, your e-commerce strategy is definitely the way forward. Um, and yeah, I guess we really have to, you know, be patient and um, adapt to this uh, new environment and uh, a, a new pa a paradigm. And um, I wish you the best with this, um, with this uh, challenge. Bye for now.